Kartik. I am going to share with you a short documentary I made on the story of the Kottavalsa Kirandul railway line. I heard this story from my mother when I was a child. I am sure you will like it as much as I did. My mother was then about 7 years old. Her father was one of the engineers working on the project and he took pictures of it at various stages. The story I am going to tell is built from these pictures and the memories of a young girl for whom the line opened up vast new world. The Kottavalsa Kirandul line was part of a larger project of what was then called the Southeastern Railway. It's now called the East Coast Railway. The Dandakaranya Bolangir Kiriburu project was commissioned in 1960. KK line as it was popularly called was completed 7 years later. KK line was built primarily to transport iron ore from the mines at Bailadila in Chhattisgarh to the port city of Visakhapatnam for export. It was partly financed by Japan. The line ran through the hilly terrain of the Eastern Ghats. The first stage was the construction of tunnels and bridges. KK line has a total of 58 tunnels, each more than half a kilometer in length. There were also deep gorges and rivers over which the tracks had to be built. KK line has 84 major bridges in its total length of 445 kilometers. This picture shows a bridge that has just been completed. The construction of tunnels and bridges was a daunting task that needed meticulous planning and a lot of skilled labor. It was a job fraught with danger and my mother recalls the anxiety when grandfather had to spend whole weeks working on site. I'm Sumitra, Kartik's mother. My father often talked about the dangers they faced from wild animals like tigers, bears and poisonous snakes. During blasting or bridge laying, there were incidents of workers falling and being seriously injured or even killed. Yet the workers, many of them local Adivasis, never lost their courage and high spirit. When the tunnels and bridges were completed, there would be trial runs. These were moments tense with apprehension as well as the excitement of a job well done. This picture shows a trial run as the train passes through the newly constructed station at Bora Guhalu also known as Bora Gumalu 71 kilometers from Kotavalsa. I vividly recall this day when the station was officially opened. My friend and I, you can see us in the picture running up the steps, wore new clothes for the occasion. It was more like a marriage in the community than an official function. The Adivasi workers who had built the line were there with all of us and they sang folk songs and danced. It was sheer magic, a moment I treasure to this day. I wish I had a video camera or even a still. I could have preserved that moment for times to come for posterity. KK line now also serves tourists to the valley of Arukku. A passenger train runs every day from Vishakhapatnam through one of the most scenic stretches of railroad in the eastern parts of the country and possibly elsewhere too. To tell you the truth, I haven't taken the train to Arukku yet, though I have gone by road. Some day soon, I'll take that train to live the memories my mother has passed on to me. Who can forget the romance of the railways? Those childhood memories of trains rushing by as we watch from the fields in wide-eyed wonder. have enjoyed the video i have many more planned for my channel vignettes which is about stories that are not widely known please like share and subscribe to my channel